This is what life looks like. People who love each other. A home. You should take a moment. Feel it. You still have time. Hey, I'm Jonathan. And I'm John. And we're here to talk to you about the 2017 action drama, Logan. I was so excited for this movie. Jonathan, what are your expectations going into Dude, this? I was hyped out of my mind. We were, we were going to finally get an R-rated Logan movie. It was going to be bloody. It was going to be gory. And that's what I was looking forward to the most. I'm like, oh, this is going to be a great action movie. It's yeah. going to be wonderful. Now, what I didn't know is how sideswiped I was going to be by how well-developed these characters were. This is not like other superhero movies. This movie basically follows Logan and Professor X and a couple other characters who are all you know, past the X-Men part of their lives. Right. They're all down on their luck. They're all just really broken and defeated and hopeless emotionally and physically. But then suddenly some things start happening that kind of make them have to relive their past and start doing things more actively again. And, and go we on a road trip. trip. And basically a really, really messed up, crazy, bloody road trip. And this movie's really all about the characters. More so even than the story or the action. And, and that a, suits the great no, cast and, and great performance. I'm reluctant to call this a superhero film because this is more or less a drama. It's mostly it's a, drama. a drama. It's a very gritty drama about pain and just forgiving yourself and overcoming um, what it feels like, all this grief in your life. I remember we were talking about this before the review. There is a villain in this movie, but the movie's not really about the no, villain. And it's the about villain's the fine, too. I mean, it's the not villain's about good. The but it's about the characters, starting off with Hugh Jackman. He was excellent Incredible. in this film. Flawless. This is the best portrayal of Wolverine I've seen him give. You can tell that he's a beaten down Wolverine. He's past his prime. He's in pain. He's sick. Mm -hmm. um, just everything about him just reeks misery. He had a really, really nuanced performance. To me, in terms of superhero movie performances, this is, this is right up there with Heath Ledger as the Joker. Or Excellent. Any other exalted superhero performance. We also have uh, Stephen Merchant in this movie as a really he was interesting good. character. He was the albino, correct? He was the albino, yeah. And he had a really interesting Cal role. Man. And obviously, you know, you have um, Patrick Stewart. He was excellent. Professor X, who was great. Really you know, good at portraying that broken sort of... I think he gave day. his best performance as Professor X as well. You're probably right. And then, of course, the newcomer, we have the girl who plays Laura. I'm um, sorry, don't know. One of the... I don't want to spoil too much... But there is a very, very focal role in this movie played by a girl that's maybe five, six. No, no, like eight, eight or nine. Mm. She's like an eight or nine year old. She's excellent in this. Five movie. to eight. She's does. She's amazing. One of the best performances by a kid I've ever seen, maybe. Because you see a lot of crappy right. performances. And then all the other supporting side characters. I'd say that most of the villain characters, they're good. They're fine. I don't think that they quite live up to the the focus of the of the lead characters in this film, but still, they're pretty good. Next thing we got going for it is this movie's action is great. It's bloody, it's realistic, it's very gritty, and it makes you feel uncomfortable sometimes. Yeah. This movie, I think, especially in its action, but also in other areas, took a lot of notes from our favorite movie of 2015, Sicario. Yeah. I know that may seem like a weird comparison, but you know, the action in this movie, it's not glitzy, it's not like impressive. It's not about oh, stunts or choreography. It's about feeling the impact and feeling the pain these characters are feeling and it works perfectly. I absolutely agree. Another thing, this movie is beautifully shot. Cinematography um, is great. Yet again, it looks a lot like Sicario. Um, a lot of the colors, it uses a lot of orange and rusty colors that mm -hmm. just kind of um, draw a comparison with the desert theme that goes on mo in most of this film. Yeah. Almost takes a lot of notes from westerns, you could say. For sure. And so the story itself is actually where the film falters a little bit. In terms of um, the whole pie, it's really good. It's very emotionally enthralling, and it got me in tears at the end. Uh, but overall, it does have a few pacing issues. I'd say the major uh, pacing issue is towards the, um, the second and third act, just kind of mm -hmm. like that little 15-minute gap where... Um, everything was just being prepped for the finale. That, I felt like it was a little off. And it wasn't necessarily bad, because, I mean, all the people involved with it were, it was very um, well acted, there were some good character moments. But overall, it did slow down the film a little bit more than I would have liked. I mean, this is an extremely ambitious film, and an extremely ambitious story, especially, in just the way they're handling these characters and these different interactions and where they're taking this universe is really just 
super ambitious for a superhero movie, and usually it pays off, but there are some moments where you can tell that mm -hmm. it's too much to handle for the people writing the script. You know, there's a plot convenience here, a point where it gets slow there, just that right. type of thing, and it wasn't a big deal, but it did at times take away from the movie for me. I agree. So John, all in all, we finally saw Logan. We saw Logan. It's here. Pretty, pretty damn good. John, what will you give it? Uh, I really had a great overall time with Logan. I can honestly say I've never seen another superhero or comic book movie quite like this. It's, it has amazing characters, a really thoughtful and just ambitious story regardless of, you know, its occasional slip-ups. The performances are amazing. The characters are amazing. It's really a thoughtful, well-done movie with killer action. All in all, I think a great send-off for Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. And if this was the last X-Men movie, which it probably won't be, right. I'd be totally happy. I would be satisfied. For sure. So I'm going to give Logan four out of five stars. What about you, Jonathan? Uh, John, I loved Logan. The action was phenomenal. The characters were great. I was just so engrossed in how the characters bonded and interacted with each other over the course of the runtime. Mm -hmm. It was just, as you said, it was such a thoughtful movie, and it really gave um, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine justice, and it really gave that character the send-off that he deserved. Overall, I really had a great time with Logan. I'm also going to give it a 4 out of 5 stars. Alright guys, let us know if you've seen Logan and what you thought of the movie. Also, let us know what you think of our review. Make sure to like and subscribe. Absolutely. And follow us on Twitter, at Stubmasters. We're doing more there now, and you can buy your merch at cafepress.com slash Stubmasters. I'm Jonathan. I'm Jonathan. No, I'm John. <laughs> you know why you're John, I'm Jonathan. Okay. I'm John.